Why you coming up to me, talking about name Eric, who's my homeboy, who I just hang out with every once and now and again. Because you're my man. And you shouldn't be going through my phone anyway. And what does me being in your man got anything to do with him? It I'm here with you. It has to do a lot with him because I want to understand why would you be calling him boo or bad? Day, man, and as you can see, trying something a little different, trying something a little new, man. Coming to y'all today with a vid that was sent to me a little while back, you know, it was on the TikTok or whatever. And apparently, this woman went through her husband's phone and saw messages between her and some dude. Her saw a message between him and some dude, some stuff she ain't like, and she confronted him about it. And uh, we're gonna get right into the video and we're gonna see what they're talking about here, I guess. So, I'm trying to figure out who are all these men that you got texting in your phone. Can't have friends. You got friends, but Eric specifically though, I seen some text messages in your phone from him talking about boo and bad. What's that about? What about what about Eric? And why was you going through my phone? Because And what I, text message are you even talking about? I'm referring to the text message girl was like, Ooh, baby had a great time last night. What was the great time that y'all had last night? Oh yeah, you mean when we went to the football game and we hung out? Okay, you could say that now, years. but what I don't get is why would you be calling him boo and bae then, okay? If that's just your homeboy and y'all going to games and stuff together, that's fine and dandy. But I you call boo and bae. Never done that. Well, he said it. It Not was him all. saying it. Okay, so then maybe you need to talk to him because... Ain't no point in talking to Eric. You're, talking you're my I man. I don't understand why you coming up to me talking about me Eric. Yeah, this is uh, off rip. First impressions. This is mad zesty. This is mad flamboyant. He little i'm sensing some flaming it's no secret that there are guys out there that talk like that way as jokes or whatever between guys but this reaction is just it's over the top he's smacking his hands he he's already defensive as, as hell a lot of red flags in the video for sure uh you know i'm gonna keep watching though who's my homeboy who i just hang out with every once and now and again because you're my man and you shouldn't be going through my phone anyway and what does me being in your man got anything to do with him? It I'm here with you. It has to do a lot with him because I want to understand why would you be calling him boo or bad? I don't call him that. Well, he's calling you that. So you want to tell me the truth about your relationship? So, or? so I'll have a conversation with Eric and I'll let him know that you're uncomfortable with his language. Because that sounds like something that's between you and him. It's and not something that's between me. you and him. And Eric don't do owe me. It. Yes, it does have something to do what with you. Because it's you, you, and yes. you, you and me together. Yes. You and me together and you are allowing that. You're my you're, man. You're, you're my boo. So then why are you coming up to me talking about how some other dude is talking to me? I'm not talking to him that way. But you're allowing him to talk to you like that. So I'll make that make sense. I'll have the conversation. Make that make sense. Now, he's, he's doing this thing where he's not really addressing what she's even arguing right now he keeps saying you got to have a conversation with him uh he's saying that he's he's taking all his autonomy out of this situation and like i said directing your wife to go talk with another man about what y'all got going on this is like i said this all seems off to me i know there are some videos that are fake somebody told me this was one of them i would believe them but i don't know it's just weird to me man let me keep watching i'll have the conversation what do you mean you're going to have a conversation? Have okay, a conversation okay, well, cool. You're going to have your conversation, conversation with Eric, but right now you're having a conversation with me, and I need you to still help me understand what else is going on. So what else are you pressing me about? I'm pressing you about the super fact is that, oh, yeah, you Lord, telling me man. this, but I don't believe that that's the truth. I'm so sick and tired of this. Every single day, you come up with another thing and another excuse. We're going to be calling each other blue and bay if I they're not sleeping you. together no, or doing some I other Myself, you don't have to keep repeating that stuff. Talking. You can actually tell the truth. If that's how he talks, that's how he talks. So if you got a problem, then you talk to him. Don't be coming up to me about some text message or something I ain't even say. Eric ain't no my friend though. Well, regardless of if this man is sleeping with his best friend or, you know, they're getting down like that. <clears throat> I know some people do. Um, regardless if that's the case, I think this is a terrible way to respond to your wife coming to you with concerns that she has he hasn't addressed them yet uh he keeps telling her to go address him about it talk to him about it she's talking to you you're her wife you're her wife might as well be. you're her husband you know she she's well within her rights to come talk to you about this type of stuff so like i said red flags all over but i'll, I'll get into it more at the end i guess so eric is your friend and your phone saying that it does make sense. It makes perfect sense to uh, me that I'll be bro. talking to you about it because you're the person that bro, owes me the loyalty and the truth. Bro. Nah, nah, I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. 
Well, you won't keep getting the same results. So I don't know what you want from me. I what want the want truth. I want the truth. So you, so you sitting up here like, yeah, babe, and all this other stuff, and you keep trying to say it's just him. I believe it's you too. You could have deleted the messages for all I know, and you ain't got nothing to say for yourself. You just have nothing to say for yourself. What happened? Sometimes a new phone feature comes out, and then all of a sudden, now we're reasoning. It ain't got nothing to do with that. Whatever. Whatever. You sound stupid. I sound stupid. Just tell the truth. And you gonna keep you on putting it. on this facade. You got it. 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 I got what? Because mm -hmm. I, I ain't got nothing. Because you ain't told me nothing. You, you ain't told me the I'm truth. Face, you, got it. you rude. You, got it. you rude and disrespectful. Yeah. And bet I will have a conversation with Eric. We gonna all have it. How about that? So only you know this man Eric and and God know what they got going on behind closed doors. So. You know, that being what it, I mean, if I had to put money on it, uh, he, like I said, he's giving me, uh, he, this nigga flaming. <laughs> but, uh, he could not be. And if he isn't, I still think this is a terrible way to respond to, to this confrontation, man. He, he got avoidant at the end. He totally checked out over a question. He, and I feel like, you know, as, as a husband, as a man, as I don't know if he has kids, but as a father, you know, I think being so quick to leave your frame, especially if it isn't true, is, is bad, man. It's something you shouldn't do, man. This is in, another reason why I think there has to be something going on there, because this is all weird. I mean, if it's not true, why are you outside of your frame like this what's what's going on man's got to talking about new phone features and all types of stuff that had nothing to do with what she was doing she was addressing him why are you allowing this man to talk to you about this is there something going on is there a deeper meaning to all these messages uh do you have some type of relationship deeper than a friendship with this man and she's i mean if she's concerned about it she's well within her right to ask now if you're a man who's not in this situation nothing's going on and you know what i'm saying this is ludicrous to you I don't think this is how you would respond. I think you like, what, what are you talking about? Like, you know, like, no, or explain to it that it's a joke, whatever. Cause some dudes joke like that, I guess. But I don't know, I think it's all odd. I think it's very odd. I'm not gonna call the man homosexual or whatever. I don't know anything about this guy from a can of paint. I do think some of his mannerisms and there was some, like I said, red flags in the video, but I'm gonna leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all can let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the new style. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I've said everything I pretty much got to say about the situation. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.